Meet my daughter, Nina. You might remember her from this video. She's a non-native speaker, just like you. She's decided to allow us to share her experience of attending a Canadian prom. So why not learn some new vocabulary along the way? Roll the intro. Hey guys, my name is Sean and welcome back to Free 99 English. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the prom. We're going to be learning new vocabulary about the prom. Now, in your country, you might not even know what a prom is. You might not have prom. But this is what it's like for someone to attend a prom in Canada. But before we jump into the video, I'll ask that you consider subscribing to the channel. It's free after all. And of course, if you find this video useful, hit that thumbs up button. Feel free to share the video with anybody you know that's learning English. And of course, follow me on my social medias and my WhatsApp group. Links are below. With that being said, let's get into this. Now the first word that we're going to be learning is corsage. So a corsage is a small arrangement of flowers about the size of your fist that the man puts on the woman's wrist and the woman pins the corsage to the man's chest, just like in this picture. And the next word that we're going to learn is tuxedo, also known as tux for short. A tuxedo is a suit that incorporates satin into the wardrobe. That is how it's different from a regular suit. And the next word we're going to learn is gown. Now gown is a sophisticated dress, just like in this picture here. Now when the corsages are put on, typically the parents will take a lot of pictures, go ooh, ah, you're so cute. But after that, it's time for them to go. And most times they are picked up by what is called a chauffeur. Now a chauffeur can be a professional driver or it could be just a family member, but they'll still be called a chauffeur. So basically it's someone who takes them from one point to another point during prom night. So from the parents' house to prom and then from prom back home. And typically they drive what is called a limousine. Now a limousine is a very long vehicle. Typically more than one couple rents a limousine and they travel together. But in some cases people just use their fancy cars. Just like in this picture here. Now if you don't have a date and you still want to go to prom, you're what is known as a stag for a boy or for a girl, stagette. And like I said, it's when you attend the prom by yourself with no date. And increasing in popularity is the promposal. A promposal is when one person asks the other person to the prom in a special way. They usually make a big show of it. They can be quite extravagant. Uh, when I was going to high school, it was not like that at all. It was just a simple, do you want to go to the prom with me? So you've left the parents' house. You're on the way to the prom. You get to the prom, and of course, it's a big day for you, so your parents probably followed you to get more pictures. So before you go into the prom, you do what is called the Grand March. Now, the Grand March is just a brief ceremony held prior to the prom that gives the students the opportunity to show off their outfits. Just like in this video that's playing behind me. So the Grand March is done. Time to go into the prom. This is where most parents leave. But putting a bunch of teenagers in a room alone is not a good idea. So they need what is called a chaperone. So many parents will volunteer to become chaperones. So they'll stay at the prom inside while the kids party and dance just to keep an eye on things, make sure things don't get out of hand. Okay, and that's pretty much what a prom is. I hope you learned some new vocabulary today. If you liked learning from this video and you want to learn some more, you can check out these videos right here. And of course, there's always an option to subscribe to the channel. Just hit my face over here. Just hit it, hit it, hit it hard. Go ahead, go ahead, hit it. All right, see you in the next video. Bye. Corsage.